Hey, welcome back. It's your girl Raquel Angela and I am here with a new hairdo, okay? I know I've been gone, been missing. I am finally back with a new episode here on YouTube. First of all, how have you guys been doing? I know you guys deserve an update as to what's been going on in my life, where have I been, or why am I suddenly getting back into YouTube? Well, you guys, I am a mother and I am proud of it. I've been a mother for this past year. I've just been enjoying life the best way that I can. I've been trying to find myself and now I'm in the process to where I'm comfortable enough to get back in front of the camera and just do what I used to do all while still being a mother. There is a new channel update. I will no longer be uploading any A plus vibes as for the moment. I don't know. We never know what the future might hold. A plus vibes is now a podcast. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, anywhere you want to listen to a podcast. A plus vibes, the podcast is right there for you to see. So I'm back on YouTube. I miss it. I love it. And I'm I want to show my daughter what I've been doing before she even got here. I wanted to do something to an old wig. Um, I had it for a couple years. I ended up dying it blonde, had it like that, just left it sit in my closet. I was like, hmm, I want to do something with it. So what did I do? I did this. So I turned this wig into a nice blonde bob. It's a little bit bright, but I'm kind of enjoying the color. Probably colored it like three or four times. Yes, I did. I'm not lying. And this final time I was like, whatever I just want to cut it into a box and see how this goes so I'm back and just watch how I turn this wig from this to this okay so this is my wig y'all I had this wig for a couple years now um, or quite a few years maybe like three years I think um, I don't wear it often and I knew I had dyed it blonde a couple years ago and I really recently been thinking about cutting it into a bob I was like I have this wig let me see what I can do one last time with this wig um, so yeah um, look at this lace it's old old so I'm like that was usually like a middle part or like an old middle part so I want to make this wig or this um, turn this wig into a bob and I want it to be like a side part. I think I can just re-salvage the wig a little bit by making it into like a side part. So I got my combs, I got my coloring brush, I got my clips, I got, I'm using box dye y'all. I'm using the Garnier Nutrice Ultra Color Shade PL which is the lightest platinum. It's the lightning kit. So I haven't used box dye in so long y'all so this is literally like an experiment for me so basically how it works is they give you all the instructions in the box um, very detailed they even give you gloves so basically I'm just showing y'all what comes out of the box when it's you know when you're using box dye I had my own gloves so I just used my gloves the hair was already um, washed for some days it says to unwash here but the hair was already washed for days um so yeah i'm just detangling it y'all my girl looked tired you know so i had to give her a little oomph oomph <laughs> So I'm just creating that side part that I want that look. Once I figured out where I wanted my side part to be, that's when I sectioned out the hair. Um, you see, I left a lot of the back part of the hair dark. It's already been that way. And I really didn't want to touch it too much. Um, I kind of just wanted to kind of leave that there because I knew already I didn't have enough um, dye to dye the whole hair. So I'm just like separating it all and then I'll clip it up and everything. So to keep the hair out of the way, I am plaiting them down, twisting it up, and then clipping it so it's out of the way, it doesn't get dyed or anything. Alright, so let's get to it. So I am taking the bleaching powder packet and I'm going to pour it into the developer bottle and you want to shake, 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 shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. 
Okay, so now I am squeezing the Ultra Lightening Cream, which is labeled C, and I'm going to pour that also into the developer bottle and shake that. So I shook it, and I wanted to squeeze all of that into my little dyeing bowl, so it was just easy for me to kind of distribute through the, um, the hair. So I um, made sure all of that was evenly distributed through the strands by just using like a comb. Um, I just do this on my wigs. I don't really do this to my real hair. But um, so yeah, actually I haven't even dyed my real hair in so long. It's been so long since I've actually put color on my real hair. And honestly, my hair has grown the most and the most healthiest without color in it. And I kind of like it like that. So. That's why I dye my wigs, okay? <laughs> so once you kind of get that real nice and saturated, I just kind of let that sit. And then I forgot to record me washing it, y'all. I was just like, oh, shoot. And honestly, I didn't even leave it on as long as it asked. Um, well, it was it said 20 to 30 minutes. Um, it was probably maybe about 20 minutes. I wasn't quite sure. So, yeah, so I'm blow drying it out, um, which kind of took forever. But um, I'm not going to put y'all through all that. So I just blow dry the hair out so that way I can cut it into this bob. I was trying to make this process as simple so I literally had my hair plaited up and I just put in a little bun and put my stocking cap on. I really was just more focused on like cutting it and um, just to see how that looks by it sitting on my head like that. So this wig has three combs, two on the side and one in the back so that's just me adjusting everything. I gotta make sure that thing is sitting right, okay? So yeah, so like, I felt like the color of this wig made it a little bit more yellowy, kind of. Um, but I was just like, you know what, let's just see. Let me see if it kind of grows on me. But um, once you rinse out the dye, the bleach, it, they give you an anti-brass conditioner. And you just kind of, it's just like leave on for like five minutes. And it kind of takes some of the brassiness out. But it kind of left me with that. So I was like, hmm, I think I'm, I think I'm feeling this. So yeah, we'll see. So now I'm like figuring out like how I want to cut it. So basically how I cut my hair, this is not the first bob I've ever cut, but um, I split the hair into two sections and then I'm um, looking at like how long do I want it to be. I'm scoping it out. And so into each section, because I want this to be like an asymmetrical type of bob where like one side's a little bit longer than the other. Um, and I wanted the longer side to be where like the bang or the swoop is. And um, you see me sectioning those two sections into two separate sections because I want to kind of let the hair that's in the front to hang a little bit longer at an angle. And then the other section, the two sections in the back, they'll be more of like the same length, like straight across. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> I hope this makes sense to y'all, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so here I go y'all. I'm about to cut it. See how I'm trying to cut it like at like a slight angle. I don't know if this is the right or wrong way, but me, I'm one of those people like I'll wing it in and try to make the best out of it. <laughs> so here we go. Ooh, y'all. I've been wanting to cut this wig for so long. I was like, I think I want a, a blonde bob. Look, and I'm doing it. I feel like at this point, this is the moment where you're like, oh no, I can't go back now. <laughs> and I'm like, thank God this was an old wig and not my real hair. now I'm just doing the other side now this is the front part so this one's gonna hang you know at an angle it's still short but it has like a little bit of length to it so now on um, this is on my right side so I'm angling it because I want this side to hang a lot longer than the other side so 
So now I'm just shaping the wig even more. So yeah, so I finished the hair and I am about to put the wig on and straighten it. I am not gluing it down in this moment. I just wanted to kind of straighten and see how this may turn out. So before I straighten it, I am separating my hair and clipping all that hair that I am not straightening at that moment out the way so I can really get a good view of what I am straightening. Hey, so I'm using that Dark and Lovely Blowout. It's the Heat Shield Primer Mist and I'm just going to spray that lightly on the hair. The more and more I start doing my hair, I'm like, I really, really, really am starting to like this color a little bit. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, it's something fun to play around with. Yes, this is the final touches on my blonde bob. I made it a little bit more golden, a little bit more brighter. Um, it's starting to grow on me. You guys let me know what you think. And next time I will have to, I might have to let the lace melt a little bit. Thank y'all so much for watching and um, stay tuned for my next video. Y'all want to know a little bit more about what it's like to be a stay-at-home mom? Stay tuned for the next video. Thank y'all for watching.